So you may remember the last time I rode, I had a little battery backup back here. When I'm running my Scenic Act, it runs down the battery so fast, which I mean, I guess it's, it, it's just cause it's running this GPS nonstop. So what I wanted to do was see if I could wire in some power through the port. So over here, you've got a port, power port. And I think over here, uh, yeah, right here is another port. So if I can get a port, power going down and around somehow so where I could plug in my phone I would be able to have constant power and not have to worry about running out of battery. Got a bunch of zip ties, some double-sided sticky, so dual USB this looks like it bends around your bends around your handlebars and then a nice long cord. Okay, I could plug it here, but I don't really want to go have any anything near the suspension. So I think I'm gonna go right hand side. Let's see here. Yeah, plugs in nicely. And it sticks out the back a little. Hopefully it won't interfere with the key for the seat. You could run this cable up into the seat area and then maybe somehow fish it through here to get. There's some cables here or there's some cables over here. So one of these two might be good. See which way is better. Okay, so I left some slack here so I can have options of where to put this thing. But what I did was I ran it down the same path as this, but then I cut in just like the other ones were cutting in. I went down behind the radiator here and see this cable. Behind this thing, which is just the plastic cowling, and then uh, right into here, which is all plastic sheathing, which feeds, which feeds right into here. So this is the main wiring harness here, and I'm just right on top of it, right there. I went behind this fuel. I think this is a fuel sensor. I think this is a fuel sensor here because this is a gas tank. So I think this is like a either the electronic fuel pump. It's probably what that is. It's probably the fuel pump right here. Um, so just behind that. So to them to keep it neat, I ran it down through here into the right here. So now I'm just gonna feed it down. Okay, I'll show you what this looks like. Where it's gonna come out is, yeah, right in there. There we go. Have just enough slack on it to plug it in. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now looking at the head unit, I wanna put it in a way that this pops up so that when I'm not using it, it seals off like that. So what I think I'm gonna do, also I don't like putting, I don't like the idea of putting sticky on my bike, um, cause that can wear off. So I think I'm just gonna take this off and then figure out a way to zip tie this into position. And you can see, I wanna hide it like behind this mount. So it looks like it's actually part of the thing. So what I'll do probably is, maybe I'll mount it to the mount itself. Okay, so I zip tied it just through here and this will just pop off. 
and then you've got access to the thing. So this would just stay kind of like this, and I've got it plugged in, so it's kind of sort of protected from the top. And then I'll just coil up my cable to plug in right here. Also, just to test, turn your handlebars all the way over to make sure in both directions. To make sure that you can see, oops, so you can see the cable is getting a little bit tight, but not too tight to where it's yanking on it. Double check our wiring. Looks good.